Today we are going to take you guys on a tour of some brand new homes located just about two miles from the beach here in Oceanside and we're actually in one of my favorite neighborhoods in North San Diego known as Fire Mountain. These homes that I'm about to show you guys are some of the best home values you can find in such an awesome location for the price right now and these are all going to be detached homes we're in the community known as 26 tide so i'm going to do a few things for you guys in this video and we're actually going to take you into about two of the five floor plans here walk around kind of show you what's going on with these and we're also going to hop on the map and i'm going to show you why this area is so special along with the things to do proximity to things like the freeway shops things to do all that stuff so let's get into it By the way, my name is Nick and you guys are reaching out all the time and we love helping you guys out. So if you're thinking about making a move in or around San Diego, just shoot us a text, shoot us an email, or just straight up give us a call so we can help you save a ton of time and help you with your real estate goals here in San Diego. Now, again, we are in the coastal town known as Oceanside, just about two miles from the beach here in North County, San Diego. And we are in the new community known as 26 Tides. And just like the name, says 26 homes are gonna be located in this new community. So it's not big at all, and especially here in Fire Mountain, there is not a lot of new construction happening. This is an older established neighborhood worth a lot of older custom homes that are very unique. And some of these homes that are being built up here, if you want a new construction home, it's literally homes being leveled and then you have a brand new home being built. But to see something like this is a little bit rare. So that's why I think this community is so special now the pricing again the pricing is some of the lowest price per square foot you'll find this close to the coast and not to mention it's brand new construction so these these are really going to start anywhere from about 1,370,000 going up to about 1.4 million dollars and you're going to have about five different floor plans ranging anywhere from 1900 square feet going up to about 2300 square feet so we're going to go in two of them and they're right around that 2000 square feet and these are gonna be the homes that are available now. Not a whole lot of homes left in this community. Again, it's 26 homes, but there's only about eight left for sale. But enough talking, let's go check out this first one. All right, so here's gonna be our first one. This is gonna be home site 13, and this is gonna be plan 1X. And the X at the end of that means it has a third story loft, which I actually kind of prefer. So let me show you this one. This is gonna have that farmhouse look, as you can see, most of these exteriors look like that. What I like to see is that gutter system. A lot of these homes, especially new construction homes, lack a gutter system. So this one's got it. Cal West is on, on point by doing that. That's great longevity for the most part. Creates extra longevity, I should say. Now, this is going to be 1X. Like I said, this is going to be a 2,020 square foot home. And we got about three bedrooms and two and a half baths. Now, this is gonna be, as you guys can see when you walk in, this could be kind of like your little family. It's either gonna be your living room over here or on that side. One of them is probably gonna be a formal dining room. But this is gonna be your downstairs setup for the most part. And this one does have some upgrades. So the cabinets are gonna be upgraded in this one. You have upgrades on the countertop and the kitchen sink. It's got a bigger kitchen sink. But you can see, I really like the colors in this one as well. No refrigerator. A lot of new homes do not come with refrigerators. But this is gonna be your kitchen area. And this is probably where you're gonna be spending all your time for the most part, is just gonna be in these two areas. And this is gonna be, I'd probably have the TV set up over here and the couch and all that, and then maybe that would be formal dining or who knows. Let me go out back and show you this real quick as well. These have a little bit bigger of backyards in my opinion with a lot of the new homes that I've been seeing. It is basically a blank canvas right now. Let me see, it goes, you got a little bit of a side yard as well. There's no access there. There's access on that side, the gate opens up. And you got a little bit of views over here, which is nice with the trees. And then, I don't know if you can see, but right there down below, that's gonna be Fraser Farms, which is similar to like a Sprouts or a Whole Foods. I'll talk more about the area in that little map tour that I do in a little bit. And then you have a golf course over there called Goat Hill. That's actually a driving range. So location wise, great. Let's go back in the house. 
And you do have a half bath down here, which is great. It's actually a pretty big half bath. Decent size for the most part. Nice little light fixtures. And then you're gonna have a little linen closet right here for storage. Let's go out to the two car garage. Got a tankless water heater out there. Not much room for storage, but you definitely can fit your two cars in here or have a one car in here and then do storage on the other side. Because storage is key nowadays. Now let's head upstairs. Now we're gonna leave that vinyl plank and we're gonna now be on carpet for the most part. Let's start over here to the left. And I like how they did this because a lot of people are requesting, they need two offices. And sometimes if you're buying a three bedroom and you got kiddos, you know, you're not gonna be able to fit another desk or whatever. So this can be used as kind of like a flex room or an office just in this space here. And you got nicer tall, tall ceilings in here, you're probably about nine feet. There's your views once again. This is gonna be your full bath over here. Good size as well. Got the tub shower. And then your throne over there. Now you're gonna have two bedrooms over here. More linen closet right there, some more storage. Now these bedrooms are probably standard size. They're not huge. This is probably, I would say, 10 by 10, maybe 10 by 11. And just for point of reference, being close to the house, so you're not exactly on a huge lot. Your neighbor's gonna be right there, but that's okay, because the location, you really can't beat this, especially with the price per square foot they're asking here. This is gonna be your second bedroom. This one is the same size as the other one. So we'll look at the flex room again. And you do have a dedicated laundry room with the sink. Before we go up to the third flight, or third story, I should say, this is your master. And the setup in here is pretty simple. Your bed's gonna be over here, and then you're gonna probably face this way, and that's gonna be your TV area over there, or you could do vice versa if you want. And we have the master bath, which I really like. You got the tile floor, you got the shaker cabinets, shower, very big shower. There's gonna be your toilet room in there. And then walk-in closet. This is a huge ask for a lot of people. I would say this is definitely a walk-in and you do have space in here, but it's not a huge walk-in. So just a heads up. But the shower, I love the shower. It's got a nice bench in there as well. A lot of natural light in this house, which I really like too. So now let's head up to the loft upstairs. Now this is a great space. I really like this spot. Again, big windows, getting a lot of light in here. It's very wide open up here too, which I like. So you could technically maybe drywall this off, add another room if you want up here. But this is a big space in here. And then you could even do like a desk or some type of storage over there. And again, with the views. Now, before we go into this next house, let's hop on the map real quick, just so I can show you around this area and why I believe it's such a gem. So here is Oceanside, California right here. It's everything within this red dotted line. It's not exactly a small city. It's actually pretty big. It's one of the biggest here in San Diego. You got about 175,000 people living here. And just so you guys know real quick too, you're gonna to be way up here in North County, San Diego if you, if you do choose 26 Tide. So it's gonna put you out a little bit further from downtown San Diego in the airport. I'd say about 30 to 40 minutes with no traffic. If there's traffic, it's gonna take you a little bit longer. Now, we're not gonna talk so much about Oceanside. I'm not gonna break that down, but we're gonna talk about where 26 Tides is located. And we have so many Oceanside videos um, and if you've watched other ones, you can probably tell that Fire Mountain is one of my favorite neighborhoods for a few different reasons. Now, let me show you where 26 Tides is. It's gonna be right here off of Blueport Way. It's just a little cul-de-sac over here. Um, again, 26 homes are back there. But all, I'd say most, 90% of Fire Mountain is going to be residential. This is all residential up in here. A lot of older 
custom homes, very sought after area in my opinion, and not a lot of homes come up for sale. And right down here, the beautiful thing is, you know, let's talk about the shopping real quick because I don't care if you live in North Carlsbad right here, if you live on the coast over here, or you live, you know, within 10 minutes of this, this is gonna be your main shopping hub and it's literally a five minute drive. You're gonna have your Trader Joe's, you're gonna have your Winco, you're gonna have a Target over here, you have a ton of retail, um, food options as well. Terry Cafe is one of my favorite restaurants over here in Oceanside. Definitely go check that out. You got a Walmart, Best Buy. Everything is right here. This is amazing. And going back to, you know, depending if you're going to, if you have kids or you're going to have kids, this is going to be great because you have walking distance. You've got a middle school, you got Lincoln Middle School right here, and you also have Palmquist Elementary School. They're right across the street from each other. And it, look at that. Blueport's right here. It's going to be a two to three minute walk to Lincoln Middle School in you know five minutes to Palmquist right here. So if you have kids, this is a very family oriented neighborhood, and a lot of older custom homes, like I said. So to find new construction is very very rare, and you're probably not going to see a lot of new construction happening up here in Fire Mountain in the future, unless you're going to buy a single family home, demolish it, and you know build a, a brand new home you know, with your own builder. Here's one of the other beautiful things. You're very close to the five right here, so you can hop on the five within minutes and you can shoot downtown, you can shoot up to Orange County real quick, or you can hop on the 78 and go east to west. You can shoot over to Vista real quick. This location is just awesome. And right here, so this is your coastal, this is gonna be South Oceanside right here. This is the 101 right here and this is where all your shops bars restaurants cafes literally everywhere so it'll keep you really busy and it's just a short you, you could probably walk there if you wanted to but you're probably going to end up e-biking or you know you can drive down here whatever it is and once you park you can just walk around and hit everything you really need to hit you can go over here to downtown oceanside you can go check out the pier you got the oceanside transit right here so you can hop on the coaster which is going to be great have some day trips and then your beach axis, you know, your beach axis is really gonna be more of North Oceanside around the pier and the harbor. You know, if you're anything like me and you live in Oceanside, you're probably gonna end up going to Carlsbad beaches just because there's, you know, more sand, more areas to hang out. So this is gonna be one of the beautiful things about the location for 26 Tides, not to mention, while I'm here, Oceanside Boulevard, this SoCal uh, Sports Center right here, this is where you're going to have the new front wave arena which is going to be a music venue you're going to have a lot going on all right now for plan three which is actually a two-story it's not the three-story like we just looked at over there that's the x remember a lot of these are two stories for the most part and then some of them have that extra loft up top which i don't know let me know what you guys think i i kind of like it a lot it creates that extra space to kind of have a flex room and whether you want to make it a an office or a playroom but let's check this one out because this one feels completely different than the last one we looked at. Now, this is gonna be uh, a four bedroom, two and a half bath at about 1,966 square feet. And you can see when we walk in, it's completely different. You're gonna go straight to a half bath over here and you walk into the entry. Now, this is just one big open space compared to the last one, which it was a big open space, but it was kind of sectioned off. This is, you have it all just kind of right here. Kitchen is a little bit bigger, a little more versatile in my opinion. You've got some different colors and finishes going on. Everything from the floors are different. They got the two-tone, which I love a little two-tone because it makes things kind of pop and stick out a little bit more. Now, the backyard is probably the highlight for me on this one because this is dead west right here. That's facing the ocean, so you get a really good breeze out here. And you actually have two yard spaces, so this is one. It's got a pie shape to it. And then if you walk around the edge, what do you know? A whole other space. And this is a big space too. This is probably one of the bigger lots, if not the biggest in this entire community. And again, this is 26 homes. There's only about eight homes left. We're in the final phase right here. So, you know, these ones are not models right here. These are quick move-ins and ready to sell, which we can help you get an awesome deal on these. So definitely be reaching out because we will definitely try to do our best for you guys. Now back in the kitchen, as you can see, we got the white shaker cabinets in here, more storage over here. This is gonna take us into a pantry, which the last one, I didn't see a pantry in there. So you do have pantry space. 
and into the garage. Two car garage again. You can get some storage up top if you wanted to. That's your access to the side where the trash cans are. And we'll head back in. A lot of natural light in these. I do have the lights on just so it is a little bit brighter, but with the lights off, it was still pretty darn bright. And what do you guys think? This one feels bigger to me. This entire house feels a bit bigger to me than the last one, even though the last one was about, I think it was about 80 square feet bigger. So we're gonna have four bedrooms up here. We're actually gonna start to the right when you walk up the staircase. Some cabinet space right here. And you're actually gonna have three bedrooms over here. So you got one over here and these are gonna be standard size. About 10 by 11, maybe 10 by 10. And what do you know? More storage, this almost looks like a pantry, but I dig it because storage is needed, especially nowadays with, I feel like everybody's got a lot of junk, so do we. This is gonna be your full bath. You got the dual vanity, which is nice. It's gonna take you into the shower tub, toilet. Another bedroom. Maybe your future office. Let's head into the third bedroom. Everything's on dimmers in here, which is really nice as well. So the electronics are definitely hooked up, ready to rock. And this is gonna be kind of the older part of Fire Mountain. These are older homes over there. So this is your newest development that we're in, 26 Tides. You got another dedicated laundry room in here. And this is gonna be your master. And I would say it's about the same size as the last floor plan. It feels a little bit bigger again. I don't know what it is with this floor plan, but the flow is very nice. You got your walk-in. This one feels a little bit more spacious as well. and into your master bathroom. Same style tub, same finishes in here, or not tub, but shower, toilet over there. And then I'll show you a little sneak peek of the views. Not quite ocean view, but it's out there. And again, those are two of the available homes at the moment. Those are the four plans that we were able to get into. And they do have a few more homes, as you can see, that are still being built. So depending on what you're looking for, definitely reach out. We'll get you that information. And these are only shown by appointment only. So make sure you guys are reaching out. We'll get an appointment. We'll get in and figure out what's going to be the best for you. And we will definitely help you get the best price possible, especially with some of these incentives. And depending on where the market's at and what the demand's looking like, definitely reach out because we'll do our best to get you that best deal. And all of our information is right there down below. And don't forget to check out a couple videos right here that'll probably be extremely helpful as well. I'll see you there.